Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and in this video, we're going to do a full in-depth review of this Motorola Atrix 2. This is a new Android phone by Motorola and this phone supports some decent specs. This is a budget dual core Android phone. So let's get on with the details. So this is the Motorola Atrix 2. I have done a detailed unboxing of this phone in my earlier video so you can check out that video if you want to know about the detailed unboxing and the detailed physical overview of the phone this uh, atrix 2 has some decent specs to go with it and i'm going to talk about the same this phone comes with a one gigahertz dual core processor and it's a very snappy phone in my uh, testing i didn't face any issues with the same the, and this phone comes with an internal storage of 8 gb but out of that only about 4 gb is uh, available to you but uh, this phone does come with what do you say a micro sd card slot and you get actually a 2 gb micro sd card bundled with the package and you can expand it up to 32 gb so the expanding storage is not an issue on this phone uh, the screen on this phone is a 4.3 inch uh, LCD screen uh, with a QHD resolution that's 960 by 540 pixels and I would say the LCD is pretty good pretty decent it's not I would say the uh, best but it's really good uh, the viewing angles I would say are acceptable but if you tilt it to extreme angles uh, uh, the image fades out which is typical of LCD screen but overall uh, with my usage I didn't find any issues with the LCD screen it's a very nice LCD screen and the phone is actually very responsive during my testing I did not face any uh, uh, issues like lag or etc and the phone performed brilliantly regarding the call quality on this phone the call quality was actually pretty decent uh, no issues with that and we also get a LED notification led over here uh, again the advantage of having LED notification led is that uh, when your phone is li like this in a standby position you get a missed call or let's say email message the light just glows that way you know you have to attend some call or whatever the front facing camera is just a 0.3 megapixel camera and it can uh, shoot videos in VGA resolution it's okay for video chat uh, I and I didn't face any uh, issues with the same the rear facing camera on this phone is an 8 megapixel camera and it can shoot videos at 1080p. I'll get regarding the video quality and the photo quality later on in this video. And I want to talk right now about the speaker phone. You have this grill over here which is the speaker phone. And I would say the speaker phone is okay in the loudness department etc. But uh, I felt the audio out of the speaker phone is a little bit shrill to my liking. Uh, Overall, the phone feels very good in the hand and the back is a little bit texturized. So holding it, it gives a good grip. And we do also get a dedicated camera shutter button with this phone. So taking snap is really easy. Now let me just, uh, uh, now let us do some web browsing on this phone. I'm connected to my Wi-Fi network and we're going to go to uh, tech2bus.com. And I actually uh, like, and actually I like the, what do you say, the on-screen keyboard. It's pretty roomy and it's a very easy to type. And we also get the swipe keyboard if you like. So let's go to tech2bus.com. And as you notice, the web page loads without any issues. Currently my Wi-Fi is a little bit slow today, I don't know, otherwise this phone was loading the pages very quickly actually. And also as you can see the pinch to zoom gesture works like a dream. And if you are looking for a phone for just browsing, this is a very good phone and let us open up one story. Let me tilt to this orientation. And this phone can play flash content without any issues and this is one flash video embedded on this web page and we go to play that as you can see it plays uh, the flash videos without any issues uh, so let me get out of that let us open one more let me open one more website that's Engadget
and overall while browsing the web on this phone i didn't have face any issues uh, the browsing uh, was really fast as you can see it loaded the mobile version of engadget uh, pretty fast now i'm going to go to the let's we'll go to the desktop version and as the resolution is qhd uh, you get to see a little bit more than the conventional android phones that generally have about 480 by 800 uh, pixel resolution and as you can see it loaded the engadget website and it's so fast to scroll no issues with that again i'll do the pinch to zoom gesture and as you can see the pinch to zoom gesture also is pretty smooth so overall in terms of browsing i have no issues with this phone it's very good for browsing the web and it can even play back flash content without issues uh, regarding the user interface this phone comes with the motorola custom ui that's known as moto blur and we get this 3d transitions in the app tray and we actually get five home screens one two three four five that you can customize and if you hold down the home button for a while you get to the recent apps and if you just tap the home once you can access all the five home screens and jump to any one of them quickly regarding uh, the interface i didn't uh, face any lags or something like that but uh, the what do you say the interface is pretty simple and spartan and in the app tray you can customize to just recent apps or you can also just uh, if you want to know what other downloaded apps you can use this so that's pretty nice also uh, do note that i haven't removed this plastic cover and these are the four touch type capacitive buttons that we have on the phone that's the menu home back and search and if you notice they are not glowing right now but uh, if the phone goes in the dark area like this they glow up so it has an ambient light sensor and I would say the ambient light sensor works uh, pretty fine because I have left the phone uh, on auto brightness and it uh, works uh, brilliantly. Regarding the media playback on this phone, uh, I tested it with a couple of videos uh, and it could play even 1080p videos and uh, most of the, I would say most of the 1080p videos and I played a, quite a, a bit of 720p videos also and it, and it didn't have any issues with the same let me just go to the gallery now i have taken some photographs with this phone and we're going to go to the camera roll these are some of the photographs that i have taken with the phone itself and you get this nice gallery view 3d view and if you notice how fluidly it handles the same there's no issues with that and if you just tap in you can go to that picture and you can just swipe around to the other pictures this is uh, uh what do you say this is a video i shot uh, actually with this phone itself and it's in high definition and i'm going to make another video regarding the camera performance uh, of this phone and moving towards the camera performance on this phone though this phone comes with an 8 megapixel rear facing camera uh, i found the pictures taken with it to be uh, say let's just say satisfactory not outstanding i have seen better 8 megapixel camera from the likes of sony and samsung uh, we uh, actually the camera app is also pretty functional you can just move around this area to focus and as it has a dedicated camera shutter button though it's not a two-stage camera shutter button you just depress it and it'll take the photograph you can't it doesn't have a half depress way so that you can focus on the same and uh, again uh, the camera quality i would say is uh, just i would say average not outstanding and i have made a detailed video regarding the camera performance of this phone and if you want to know more about the camera performance of this phone check out that video coming to the battery life of this phone this phone has a 1735 milliampere battery and i would say the battery is above average by android standards and it can last you one full working day without any issues Coming towards the gaming performance of this phone, uh, it's actually pretty good and this phone comes bundled with uh, 9 high quality games. Uh, most of them are by EA and I'm going to show you the same. Uh, let's first uh, look at Need for Speed, Hot Pursuit and uh, this is by EA. I'm going to skip all this initial animation. 
and uh, you use the accelerometer to control the, the car in this game and as you see the graphics are pretty nice and and we are running the game and it runs fluidly without any issues and i found the overall the gaming capabilities of this uh, phone to be pretty good i played quite a few games on this phone and uh, it had no issues now i'm going to show you one more game uh, that's a little bit uh, 3d intensive game and now we're going to load the dead space game and this is a dead space game and this is a 3d intensive game load and you can move the character around and as you can see it is pretty fluid no issues with the same so actually this uh, phone is also pretty good for gaming and it also comes with uh, quite a few preloaded games uh, so that's pretty nice so this is dead space you know get out of that also this phone currently ships with android uh, version uh, 2.3.6 that's the gingerbread but uh, motorola is going to update this phone to ics uh, in the third quarter of 2012 so that's pretty nice uh, regarding some of the apps that come pre-bundled uh, business users will like as if we get the citrix app we have uh, dlna support and uh, we also get uh, what do you say uh, the mobile hotspot functionality and we also get the quick office so that you can quickly uh, edit office uh, documents on the go so that's pretty nice touch the quality of apps that motorola has selected uh, is pretty nice so overall i like this phone pretty much uh, it's very fluid uh, and uh, i didn't face any uh, issues like lag etc and the one gigahertz dual core processor is pretty snappy and i would say a person uh, and it's also great for actually web browsing so what is my overall opinion about this motorola atrex 2 uh, this phone comes with some decent specs and the pricing for this phone also in the indian market is pretty decent it currently sells for about 23000 rupees but uh, after bargaining and stuff in a local mobile shop i was able to negotiate it for about 22000 so for that price this is a very good dual core android phone though it's not perfect the camera quality on the phone is just average but overall i like this phone very much and i can highly recommend this phone i hope you found this video review helpful if you found it helpful i'll appreciate if you click on the like button given below you can also subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button given here thereby you'll be notified about my future videos that's it for now this is ranjit from techtubus.com and hopefully i'm going to see you in my next video